Hey everybody, I have part two of my penny shopping haul. Now this haul is so massive, it might be over four videos long. So this is part two and the rest will be coming up in the following days. I still have a clearance video I am working on and I will have your deal days video posted before Thursday. So if you're interested in seeing what my haul consists of, then just keep watching. Now, some of the stuff I did not record myself finding, so there's lots more that you haven't seen. All right, y'all. So, I found this in the clearance bin. This is a S22 Vibrant Homestead Candle Wax Melt. So, that was surprising. <laughs> I got this ribbon. It's just pink with some colorful flowers and it's like satiny and I don't know if it's wired or not. Let me see. Yes, it's wired. That is donate. Whoa. All right. I got this cute little flamingo cup with some pink rhinestones and the flamingos have little crowns on. They're super cute. And then there's like the little leaves palm leaves and just trees i think those are palm leaves i don't know it's been a long time since i've seen a palm tree <laughs> i got this little outdoor tiki lamp i just don't have any of that fuel that goes with it so i will have to buy that I don't know if I showed you this pumpkin looking one, but it's kind of neat. I don't know. Um, I was walking around the store with this on my arms as a purse because I had nowhere in the cart. So I had one on my left arm up under my armpit and then I had another one <laughs> under my other arm. I looked like a, a weirdo. Like that's a way to alert people. But I even told him, I'm like, yeah, look for these tags. They're a penny. So there were a couple people in line behind me that ran out and got some stuff. They got some pillows um, and I think some other things too. And then I told one lady to make sure to subscribe to Christy's Connections because she had like more questions about it. And then I think two other ladies were already penny shoppers because I ran into them at the next store as well. But I feel like they should have just stayed at the store we were at. They left because they saw me there and little did they know that I left more than half of the items in the store because I don't have space and my car was already packed darn near full and I couldn't add any more items. So they would have scored huge if they would have just looked around. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's keep going. This little tiki torch looking solar lamp. It is solar and it has a battery backup. So that is pretty cool. This is a pop shelf item, gray tag. And they're very lightweight because they're plastic. So it's not heavy, which I like. And then there are these. And it's just a little LED candle in there. And it's a gray tag, pop shelf item. You might see the stuff start popping up in your stores because it's happening in mine. And if it's happening in, you know, small town Ohio and rural Pennsylvania, um, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be happening in bigger cities too. This is the second one. I want to say I got four each of these and I gave some to the manager and the employees when I was checking out. The manager was so excited. She was like, I could just hug you right now. <laughs> I was like, I just appreciate you guys so much. And they were so kind to me. So sometimes you have really great experiences that totally make up for all the bad ones. We got this little lantern and it also says for LED candles only. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. Okay. Five bucks. Now, I'm not sure what would happen if you use a real candle. I got a couple of different kids little gardening tools, but here's the funny thing. I am so short. These are like great for me. They're like my size. <laughs> and my boyfriend brought up a good point. A 
a lot of times we're already on our knees in the garden anyway doing work and so shorter tools are kind of helpful so if you can see these little guys in your store make sure you scan first because sometimes there are things that just are excluded or whatever so make sure it comes up 0.00 after you scan it with the dollar general app and that is for this kids hoe i'm not even kidding it's called a kids hoe so hoe so so okay let's keep going we got this little shovel now if you see the full-size shovels they are not included so oh that one's scratched i need another shovel hang on good thing i got a, sh a whole bunch of shovels over here <clears throat> i can only do this a little bit at a time y'all because i have so much and half of the stuff's still in the garage all right y'all sorry about that here is a upc for the kids shovel and the full-size shovels are full price still. They will not go to a penny. So don't be like my ding-dong butt and load up your cart with a whole bunch of shovels only to then scan them and be like, oh, full price. Yeah, not smart. I got a rake. And this is actually an S23 rake. All right, I got another pop shelf item. This is a lantern for LED candles. Gray tag. I got these little purple dot signs. Now, again, remember, if you scan this at home and it says not sold in store or out of stock, that does not mean anything at all. Because once the stuff has been marked down to a penny, lots of times it's not going to show up in stock at all. So don't pay any mind to that. Here is the laundry basket. Fold. And there is your UPC for that. I just get a lot of comments about like, well, oh, it tells it's not sold in my store or it says it's out of stock at my store. Well, that doesn't mean anything because I could be standing in the store. I scan the item and it says zero dollars and then right under it, it says not sold at the store. And I'm just like, oh, really? <laughs> so don't pay any attention to that. I got that be happy sign. And I did leave these at every other store I was at because just they take up a lot of space. And um, I just don't really have any need for all these. So uh, that's going to church. Um, let me get the other one and put it up here with the coca melons and my other pennies that I can now pull down. All right, so we got this little believe sign, believe. And there's your UPC. I got this cute little, oh dude, you're sniffing everything now. This little teapot. It's like a, I don't know, resin little watering can. I don't know what the string is for. Like, it's just supposed to hang? Like, I, I don't understand what the purpose of that is, but maybe I am just some uncultured swine. Um, <laughs> I got this shake and feed, but be very careful because sometimes these are not included and there are different kinds. So always scan. I was honestly very shocked to see this as a penny. So this is the Shake and Feed All-Purpose Plant Food, and it is one cent. But please, please, please scan so that you're not caught off guard at the register, because that's the worst feeling in the world. 
and that happened to me quite a few times yesterday. Some of these green dot boxes were still full price, so you always got to scan. Um, well, I found a whole bunch of these cute little mermaid plates. These were on a sky shelf, and they were actually still in, like, the display box, and I just looked up, and then I just smiled, because I was like, I know exactly what that is. <laughs> So, if you can find these at your stores, you will pay a penny each. And I only found one of the little Encanto plates, but they are adorable. I got this cute little Cocomelon plush. These are surprise pennies. These were shared by Christie's Connections a few days ago. So if you see these in your store, go ahead and scan them. And if it says 0, 0.00, it's a penny item. Or if it says 0 0.01. There's this little guy. And there's a UPC on that. Now these are from 2022, so they may be harder to find because I know a lot of kids like Coco Melon. But $10 for this teeny tiny little doll, that was kind of shocking to me. I found two of these cups on an end cap. One is like a greenish glass, and this is just clear glass. And I also left a bunch of glasses. I left tons of just clear ones. So someone who needs glasses can get them. We got this dinosaur that is a very confused dinosaur because it says, brave boy, you can do hard things. It should be difficult things for one. And be positive every day. Roar. And it's pink. So, I'm pretty sure the factory did not really understand. I mean, I guess you could say that it doesn't really matter. You know, pink can be gender neutral. But what I really think is they just messed up and they got the wrong stencil on there. Because <laughs> there were blue ones that were correct. <laughs> I always seem to find like the one-offs of these products and it always makes me laugh. All right, y'all, here is a little mat I've been kind of sitting on. This is a kid's bath mat. These were originally $8 and I just realized I forgot to start adding up the cost of these items so I could give you a haul, what I spent and the retail price. Okay, I found one of these little water spray bottles. This is Green Dot. And I found one of the new clearance clean out items. These are the sippy cups that Christie's Connections posted. If you haven't seen that video she posted, um, go check it out. It is a bunch of clearance clean out pennies and it, it's a good time. They got some good stuff on there, y'all. So I'm hoping to find more. That's all I was able to find so far. I keep finding these everywhere. Even though they pennied like a long time ago. Um, I still keep finding them. I found one of these mugs at a store. I just had them put all my stuff in a box. And there is that. I think I have maybe four mugs and four bowls and probably six plates. I'm not 100% sure. I got this little beaded garland that says Hello Spring. Then I got these two. This one says Simply Blessed. And this one just says blessed. Now, if you do crafts and things like that, you know that these wooden beads can sometimes be kind of pricey, especially when you want to make your own garland. Um, I have done that. I used to make my own beaded garland and I used to make some of that like rag garland. And sometimes I would 
use a string of lights and then tie my rag garland around it and make it super cute. Um, but these beads are expensive. So this whole thing of just this amount of beads is worth way more than a penny. Trust and believe. Check Amazon, the prices for these little wooden beads. You'll be shocked. I got some more of these alpha beads. I was definitely not expecting to see these on an end cap. They kind of just like hit me. And then, you know, another one of those, the same color. And another one. And then we got some plain alphabet letters. I think I got two of those. Let's see what else I found at the store that they put in the box for me. We got these little key rings. And then I got these um, lobster clamps. That's what? Okay. Usually it's called a clasp, but okay, clamp. We'll go with clamp. Alright, we got more of those. More of those. More lobster clamps. <laughs> um, and these like pastel alphabet beads. Oh, more of those. And more of those. And this cute little be happy little trinket box. I like it because it's actually made of wood. It's not MDF. <laughs> These were last year's purple dot. And I missed them last year because they were up high like on a sky shelf. And this year, I remembered, and I got them babies down with my handy-dandy stick. And this is a, I think this is a green dot. Let me see. No, this is purple dot. Now, like I said, be careful because some of the green dot ones are not a penny. They are still full price. All right, y'all, I found this little home sweet home sign. It is purple dots. And I got this cute little mat. It says, I hope you like plants. And I gotta move some stuff off of it so y'all can see. So let's just go through it real quick like so that we can move it. Um, let me move it all over here. Okay. So, I got one of these baking mitts, or oven mitts. It's that baking collection. Super cute. I like the little grippies. I got a Barbie napkin. I think I only got one of these. I didn't find much Barbie. And these are the little mermaid napkins. Another one of these little labels. Let's do these real quick. I got cocoa melon plates. And I almost didn't even scan these. I almost just left them because I didn't see them anywhere at the time. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if it's worth it. But I went ahead and scanned it. And these were a penny, but the blues clues that it was with was not a penny. So always worth it to scan and I got a Barbie paper plate set not sure if I already shared this I think I might have already but this is old um, lawn and garden what well, follows lawn and garden and green dot I think or not green dot it follows lawn and garden 
This is S22. So if you see these pebbled tags, scan them. Um, some stuff might be excluded, but you might be surprised and find some things that you didn't even realize were a penny. I got this little plant lady heart. And like I said, I think I'm going to buy a drill and do a little project where I drill in hangers on the back of these so that these can be hung on the wall or like the fence or whatever. Actually, I wouldn't recommend putting these outside though because it's made of like MDF. So if it gets wet, it's just gonna swell up and ruin. So that needs to be an indoor item. All right, y'all, that is it for part two of my penny shop and haul. Make sure you stay tuned for part three, four, possibly five and six. I have a whole lot of stuff to show you and just not enough time. So keep on keeping on and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye guys.